We got our first bit of news regarding the upcoming patch for Command & Conquer Remastered Collection, including a bit of information about the installation videos you see when you launch the collection for the first time. Read here, and recently Jim Vasilla provided us with a lengthy post on Reddit discussing the upcoming patch in addition to something I didn't really know about the installation videos. And before I want to go into the post itself, I just want to say a huge thanks to each and every person that's been supporting my channel. It is extremely appreciated and it is incredible to see the community grow. Now the post itself is a little bit lengthy, so I will do a pinned comment below the video highlighting some of the main features, just in case you don't want to go through the entire post. But reading on what Jim Vasilla said, his post goes as follows, quote, Fellow Command & Conquer fans, the Command & Conquer Remastered Collection has now been live for 10 days and our teams have been absolutely humbled by the response from players and journalists around the world. I've been spreading the past week engrossed in streams, articles and community comments about the game, trying to absorb every piece of feedback players are providing. But at the same time, also just smiling as I observe players being transported back to their childhood with waves of nostalgia, hopefully providing a positive moment during these times. Congratulations and thank you to everyone in the community for helping to make the launch such a memorable event. I wanted to cover a few topics in today's post. The first is to highlight one of the most meaningful features of the remastered collection, the installation videos. Players from around the world have been loving these sequences, with entire articles being written about the emotional reaction they garnered. But unless you went into the bonus gallery to read the details, you may not know that these two videos were not created directly by our development teams, but instead by a longtime Command & Conquer community member, Luke CC Hyper Finan. Luke has been an integral part of the community council since the beginning of the project. When I learned Luke was a graphic designer by trade, I asked if he would be willing to remaster the installation sequences into something truly special. He created a 5 second test for us and it was instantly clear he would be able to pour the passion and attention to detail into the project. So we contracted Luke to work with us and over the course of 6 months he created the sequences brainstorming with Petroglyph and myself on how to shift them from an installation sequence to an upgrade sequence. We would review the progress with Luke every two weeks or so to provide feedback and Luke's skill and creativity were surpassed only by his professionalism. I'm so proud of Luke for creating content that will go down in Command & Conquer history and that the first thing anyone experiences in the remastered collection was created by a member of the Command & Conquer community. The second topic I wanted to discuss was our upcoming patch. We're currently putting the final touches on the patch as we continue to prioritize and react to players feedback. The goal of this patch is multifold. Complete several of the top community requested features which just missed the launch date including items like private game lobbies and choosing sub factions for red alert quick match. Address many of the top bugs which have been seen in the launch version including a potential improvement to the frame rate stuttering issue. Implement some additional quality of life improvements such as enabling the deploy hotkey to upload APCs and multi queue units on the repair facility in Tiberian Dawn, same now as Red Alert. Iterate on our quick match rule set to ensure we're creating the proper foundation for competitive play. In total, there should be several dozen items addressed in this patch and will provide a comprehensive set of patch notes when the patch is released. Regarding our quick match rules, we've heard strong and unanimous feedback from our engaged multiplayer competitors. In fact, we're actually able to make several of these changes on the back end and have decided to implement several of these changes effective later today. The key changes to quick match as requested by the community are the following. Increasing the game speed from normal to fast. Reducing the starting units to zero. Removing aftermath units from quick match in red alert due to extreme balance issues. Adding two more maps to the Tiberian Dawn map rotation. Monkey in the middle, one pass fits all. We're hoping the community can play with these changes over the next week and continue to provide us feedback as we strive to improve this mode of the game. 
Thanks again for all the appreciative words over the past 10 days and please continue to provide your feedback so we can improve your experience with the remastered collection. Cheers, Jim Vassella. End quote. So there is quite a bit of content to unpack here. One of the biggest things is the quick match and the fact that later today, some of the quick match features will be implemented, that being the game speed from normal to fast, which is a huge improvement because I feel that quick matches sometimes drags on a little bit too long because the game is just a little bit slow. Starting units to zero, which is a big thing because sometimes when I play as Soviet or doesn't really matter who I play as, but sometimes I have like one tank and the enemy has two tanks in the beginning, so they immediately sometimes just overwhelm me and then the match is effectively over early on in the game because they have more units in the beginning than I do. Also, aftermath the units are a bit unbalanced, so I'm curious if they're gonna do a balancing patch later on, and it's also nice to see additional maps coming to WN Dawn. In addition to the stuttering frame rate issues that they're working on, it seems that a lot of these updates that they're gonna release later on in the week or possibly next week are more quality of life improvements, but I genuinely hope they work on pathfinding as some of the pathfinding is quite irritating at the moment. They haven't really specifically specified when an official patch update is going to be released, aside from the hotfix later on, which will focus on quick matches instead of the overall gameplay, but as soon as a patch drops, including patch notes, I will definitely provide you guys with an updated video running through those patch notes bit by bit, in addition to seeing how it affects the gameplay. Now aside from this bit of news about the upcoming patch, many people including myself are wondering what is next for the Command & Conquer franchise. Will we get a remastered collection volume 2 or will Red Alert and Tiberian Sun be remastered separately or will we get a completely new Command & Conquer game? Now I already made a video on what I suspect is going to happen at EA Play this Thursday because they did release a short animated video where they do tease something GDI related. It could be something, it could be nothing and just a small like hey the remastered collection is out similarly to what Joe Coogan did at the PC gaming show because when I saw that I was very very excited. I thought we were getting an unexpected drop at the PC gaming show because the remastered collection is PC only so I kind of expected when that happened I was like whoa are we getting a remaster of Red Alert or Tiberian Sun right now like an announcement and a, and a shadow drop but no it was just Joe Coogan playing as Kane saying you know thank you for supporting the remastered collection it is out now go buy it kind of thing so it might be something along that those lines as well where somebody from the team is just saying you know thank you for supporting the remastered collection we have tons more to show in the future, blah blah blah, those kind of thing. Or it might be a completely new Command & Conquer game. Now, like I said, I already made a video on that, so I'm not going to repeat myself in here. So I will leave a link to that at the end of this video if you want to check out my full theory. But in addition to that, I'm also going to do a complete reaction alongside the EA Play event where I will live stream it, including myself, talk about it up front with you guys, whoever want to join me, I'll have a little talk in the beginning and afterwards just discuss about the EA Play event, what we saw and what I suspect we can see about EA games in the future. So if that's something you guys do want to see and do want to join, I already have that event live so just make sure that you have that in your waiting queue so you can check that out when that goes live this Thursday. But is there anything specific you guys would want to see changed in the game? And if you enjoyed this content, then why not become a member and click that join button or subscribe for more content. If you like this video, then give me a thumbs up if you dislike it and then give me a thumbs down. But please tell me why so I can improve my videos. My name is Frank, I'm the Red Side Guy and frankly, thank you for watching. Catch you guys in the next video.